It is so wonderful to be here and spend time with you all. And uh, it is really a blessing in my world. Um, it will be such a blessing to be back in person with you all. I really am happy with that idea that that's going to happen sooner than later. I just, I'd like you to listen to this story or this talk as though, maybe as though we're not quite in quarantine as some have said, but, but that there are things that we can do even if we are. And what the deepest truth is that I know at this time is that we are all individualizations of God, that peace begins deep within, that faith is the rock solid foundation to build anything on, but especially peace, love and forgiveness. That the mind I use, the mind we use is the mind of God and the voice I use today is the voice of God. We hold everything in the palms of our hands and that breath that feeds the necessary wholeness of who we are is closer to us than our hands and feet. But without those hands to embrace with, to build with, to touch lovingly with, we would want for something when there is a whole world at our feet and those feet were made for walking to the next light, the next action, the next place of service that our heart wants to and needs to do. I really had to think about this talk. Usually I get some great inspiration or a story or a quote or a song that gets my creative juices going. And since the monthly theme for May has been listen to your heart and the topic for today is these hands Wow, these hands, my hands, your hands, your friend's hands. Just look at the strength, the delicacy of our individual hands. And in fact, though similar, each of our hands are slightly different. And with the introduction of hands comes a song, one that I won't sing today, but is one of my favorites from Chip Dennerline. I reach out my hand to you. You are part of me. I open my arms to you. You are part of me. We are one in spirit. We are one with all there is. I open my heart to you. You are part of me. As we are all spirit, then we would not be a part of anything. We would be an individual having a shared experience and an individualized experience, but that really doesn't fit with this song. And these phrases reach into my heart and make me want to reach out to you, each of you. Take your hand in mine, give it a gentle squeeze. Can you feel that gentle squeeze? That tells you how much I care for you, how much I love you. And as I squeeze your hand, you will squeeze the next person's hand. And eventually we will have a hand squeezing love fest. Hard to do over the airways, but I think it's totally possible. And now we are all connected. It is the bridge from our wisdom heart to our humanness, humanness, that takes us beyond the unknowable of the times we are in and that, that connects us to all things and to each other. From this place of knowingness, we begin to surrender to the sacred and the wholeness of all life. It is from here we embody love and understand that wholeness is the realization that above all else, we are the beloved, we are the truth keepers. I'm taking you back to your hands. What did you do yesterday with your hands? Plant a garden? Well, maybe not yesterday. Chop vegetables? 
chop and carry wood, carry water, caress a loved one, your dog, a cat, a baby? What did your hands do? And look at your hands again. Are the palms smooth or do they have calluses and blisters? Are they rough with work or from washing them too often? Do they fidget as you sit here listening? Or are they relaxed and peaceful in your lap? Do you speak with your hands? You may, even if you don't know sign language. Or are they just flapping in the air like birds? Are you able to express all that you want to express? Are you expressing with words, spoken, with writing, with singing, with art, your garden? Do express the wholeness of who you are. And in that expression, how would you like your world to be? It is probably not okay with you to do nothing when there is so much to explore, so many places to lend a hand. We are here to create and anchor ourselves in the ever-expanding good within us, through each of us, through words, through actions and service. This spreads the expanding good that you feel, not only to yourself, but to those around you, which then spreads to others and on and on around town, around the state, around the world. You never know who, you might, be, who might be the recipient of your ever expanding good, just like the gentle squeeze of a hand. If you could do one thing today that would fill you with love, what would it be? Would you help someone just because? Or remind someone how much you love them? What would it be? What makes you feel most alive, most on purpose? Remember, this world as we have known it has changed. We have all changed. Yet, I found a quote from our founder, Ernest Holmes, from February's magazine, and I think it says it all. There is a life we long to experience, somehow or other. We are missing the wholeness of things. We uncover the God nature within us, and that sub subtle invisible force of life flows more fully between us and between all whom we meet. In that uncovering, let us consider then that if God is one, the one God is wherever we are because God is not divided into fragments. All of God is present wherever we are. God is the essence of who we are. And each of us can say, there is only one God. That is my God. All that God is, is my God. Some of that God is in me, or I would not exist. Since God is not divided, how much of God is as much as I can recognize, is as much as I can experience. And though this may sound as if there is separation, there is not. There is only wholeness in God, of God. You must make use of the tools you have been given as a human being, starting with a beautiful mind, a mind to, contempl to co contemplate love, to meditate on peace, and to embody the oneness of all a physical body to experience the world, 
You have your five senses to see, to hear, to feel, taste, and touch. Use your sixth sense too, the one of intuition. Know that as you are in the presence, all of these senses allow you to be who you are in the love of spirit. Speak words of love, take action, and be of service to others. One last thing from Reverend Andriette Earle. I envision and paint a picture of a stream flowing steadily past all impediments, singing songs of faith, gratitude, and blessings all along the way. This consciousness works for us as well. When we are willing to bless our boulders, express gratitude and thanksgiving for every apparent barrier, they dissolve to reveal our highest good at hand. Be that love that expresses who you are in as many ways as is possible for you during this time and this place. Know that you are love and you are loved. And take this with you as I close today. It is never too late to be who you came here to be, love. And if you join me just in closing our eyes, and join, join listening with that love to prayer. God is the love, the joy, the service, the grace, the expansion, the ever-present essence of who we are. And I know that in this presence of God, we are all one. We have come here to know, to be that presence of life, of growth, of knowing, of sharing all of those pieces of who we are, all of that love, all of our essential selves. And in the recognition of who we are as individualizations of God, as individuals knowing knowing that the presence within, the knowing of the consciousness that we carry, that carries the love of who we are, is in such great gratitude. And I have such great gratitude for all of you for all that is in my life, for the blessings that we each carry. And in that, I release this prayer knowing that love and law will continue our blessings. And I am so grateful in that knowledge and so it is and thank you very very much